I start to talk about how cars used to come with lighters. And this girl, young girl in the front row, laughed at that. And that's not the punchline. So (laughs) I stopped to ask her what she thought was funny. Because as a comedian who's at work when I'm on stage, I thought, well, if there's something funny that I'm not realizing about it, I'll write it down. I'll do it the next show. And I said, can I just ask you why you thought that was funny? And she goes, oh, it's just, I mean, that's like such a lame incentive, a lighter. And I go, I, I took me a minute, I go, an incentive? I go, oh, no, 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 no. This isn't like start a bank account, get a toaster. She thought I meant people would buy a car and then the car dealer would throw him a Zippo and go, thanks for your business. And I said, no, 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 cars used to come with lighters. And she goes, that's what I said. It's a lame incentive. I go, no. And I couldn't explain it because I never thought I'd have to. So I didn't have the language for it. And it's like, I was like, no, um, cars, lighters inside, part of the car, steering wheel, and I'm panicking now. Radio, lighter, push it in, pull it out, hot coil, do the cigarette, and and I'm like, you know, can't breathe. I just stopped the show and be like, all right, I have to show you a picture. And I Googled it and showed her, and she goes, oh, well, what did non-smokers get for cars? And I'm like, oh, sweetie, there weren't non-smokers back then. A non-smoker was like a half a pack a day smoker, you know. But driving used to be fun because you put the windows up and you just start smoking, you know, and you push in the lighter and the lighter was cool. It was unlike lighters that you use, you know, outside of the car and you, you open it and there was this hot coil and you, you're driving with your elbow and you try to balance it on your cigarette and then you just, you know, just kind of like throw it on the ground next to you and hope it doesn't catch on fire and the ashtrays were so deep you never had to empty them. They just sort of, you know, composted. We were very environmental. They just sort of... But what's funny now though is if you buy a car and I know most New Yorkers don't drive but I'm sure you've seen cars. (laughs) Uh, Is if you're in a car now, notice this next time, right under the radio, there's this giant cubby. It's just this empty space. There's maybe like one USB port. That's where the lighter and ashtray used to be. That's where the fun used to be. And I like the idea of a bunch of Gen X car engineers that are making cars and they're like, what do we do with the area that used to be an ashtray and a lighter? I don't know, man. I can't put anything there. I want to leave it as like a memorial. Like, let's just... Let's just leave an empty space and the people that get it, get it. And 